what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here in this video i'm going to talk about a serious problem that i feel the scream franchise has the scream franchise is my uh most beloved horror franchise it's the franchise and the film that got me into the horror genre i believe that was the very first horror movie i sat down and watched as a young kid uh, i fell in love with that movie fell in love with the cast fell in love with the chemistry between the actors and the actresses i loved what wes craven and kevin williamson brought to life with that project and then of course as i grew up and watched other horror films i grew up on a plethora of horror films not just scream chucky freddy jason michael myers leatherface i watched all of those things leprechaun i've been watching those movies since i was a young young kid the biggest issue that i have with the franchise though with scream is the fact that they never really are doing anything that has to do with building a new cast and when i say building a new cast i'm talking about adding people who can be there right alongside Dewey, Sydney, Courtney, or Dewey, Sydney, and Gail, and none, none of these characters are people who need to necessarily die. Everybody loves Dewey. Everybody loves uh, Gail Weathers. Everybody loves Sydney. They they're the uh, the centerpiece of this franchise. The problem that I have is the fact that with each film, the supporting cast comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. We get a new set of cast members announced. And we're basically just pointing out, okay, which one of you are going to die first? How are you going to die? When exactly are you going to die in the movie? Are you going to be the killer? That's all we know. We know it's going to be someone in the supporting cast is going to be the killer. We know they're all probably going to die. And we know that they're not going to make it to the next sequel. That's become like the shtick of the franchise. And it's become kind of stale because while audiences, me and myself included, want to see a Scream 5 featuring Neff Campbell, Courtney Cox, David Arquette, with the story centered around Sidney Prescott in some way, shape, or form, with all these wood, all the Woodsboro uh, main trilo main tri trio of characters coming back, we need to have like a fresh set of stars that are there with them. We have to stop this constant trend of having the supporting cast come and go, come and go. Several people from Scream Three are in love with the character that Parker Posey Parker Posey plays. Uh, she plays. She plays Jennifer in Scream 3. She's the on-star, the in-film actual star who's supposed to be portraying Gail Weathers in the Stab in the Stab 3 film that's under production in Scream 3. So a lot of people are always talking about Parker Posey's, Posey's performance in Scream 3. I can only sit down and imagine what it would have been like had that character of Jennifer had survived, Jennifer Jolie, if she had actually survived. And we got to see her reprise that role in Scream 4, possibly even now Scream 5. Mark uh, Mark Kincaid, portrayed by Patrick Dempsey. He developed. He seemed like he was develop, developing a love interest in Sidney Prescott at the end of Scream 3. Um, but then, of course, we know he was supposed to be in Scream 4, so I'm not really going to knock them for this. But at the time, Patrick Dempsey had some other commitments. He was more... I believe involved with uh, Transformers Dark Moon or not Dark Moon, but Transform yeah, Transformers Dark of the Moon, I believe was what kept Patrick Dempsey out of Screen 4. They had plans for his character to be in the movie. Um, the biggest issue that I have with this franchise is the fact that the, the stars, the supporting cast, they just are not, none of them are ever sticking. They're not coming along with Sydney, Dewey, and Gale. They're all just here to die, and then we get a new sequel with the same set of three characters and then another set of characters that we know are gonna know are gonna die who were right there with them in the thick of things um screen four we have kirby reed a lot of people are so convinced that kirby's dead but again in the original script her her there's no death for her in the original script what had happened was kevin williamson his script had a scene where kirby was going to be announced as alive kirby's survival was basically going to be shot but Wes Craven decided to leave audiences up in the air wondering about this character. I fully believe they had every intention of bringing Kirby back with Screen 5, especially finding out what the original plans were from Kevin Williamson these past couple of weeks where he stated that he wanted to go to college. Pretty sure this is either going to be a movie following Kirby or following Joe Roberts, possibly both. Sydney Prescott is much older. She's done with college as far as we know, even though we don't really know if she actually graduated from it or not. She's already been through the college setting. So we were either going to follow Jill or Kirby. Uh, my biggest gripe, uh, again, with the supporting cast is so many characters that audiences and fans of this franchise love to talk about. And they are just not in any of the, any of the subsequent sequels after their appearances in Scream 2, Scream 3 or Scream 4. 
Uh, I hope someone from Screen 4 is in Screen 5. I think I feel like that would be an honest first for the franchise outside of, of course, Cotton Weary and Randy Meeks from the first two movies because Randy was in Scream 1, Cotton was in Scream 1. They were both in Scream 2 and they were both in Scream 3. Um, but outside of that, I don't think there's really been any supporting cast members that have stuck around past the film that they appeared in. Um, Joel, Scream 2, uh, Gail Weathers' cameraman, everybody seems to be a, a, a big fan of his character. I've heard rumblings back after Scream 4 came out that he might return for Scream 5. Who knows if they even go through with that. Uh, Patrick Dempsey, again, I already talked about him. Detective Kincaid, they had plans to bring him back, but his his schedule wouldn't allow him to come back. Uh, Par Parker Posey's character, Jennifer Jolie from Scream 3, fans love that character, but they killed her, so she can't come back. Kirby Reed from Scream 4. You can easily bring Hayden Pantier back, but the problem is, I know Hayden Pantier is going through, a lot, going through a lot of things personally, as far as I can tell from what the media reports about her life. I just know she's going through some things at the moment, so hopefully she's able to reprise this role and fans can have some excitement and something to look forward to with the returning returning supporting cast member outside of just having the, the same old tired thing where it's just Dewey, Sydney, Gale, and then a set of characters who we know are going to get wiped out and one of them is Ghostface and then it's just going to be on to the next one where you have Dewey, Sydney, and Gale with a new Ghostface killer, a new supporting cast. All of them are going to die and then we're going to move on to the next one. Dewey, Sydney, like no. And I know a lot of people want the series to go beyond Scream 6. If you want this franchise to go beyond Scream 6, you can't keep doing this, this formula of just Sydney, Dewey, Gale, Ghostface, supporting cast. Ghostface kills supporting cast. On to the next. We have Dewey, Sydney, Gale again. Back in Woodsboro, back in this town. Ghostface is doing the same old thing, targeting Sydney. That it's gonna become it's it's gonna become stale at a certain point. These characters are fun. I love these characters. I want this planned trilogy that we had for a Scream 4 trilogy to actually be finalized. Let this be something to close off the books with Sidney Prescott and with these characters and let us venture out into new things but we cannot do that if the supporting cast continues to be killed off and it continues to be just characters who are not really there's no real focus on them because we know they're just there to be ghost face victims them we know they have like uh, an hourglass none of them have an hourglass that compares to the main three they're all just here for the sake of we needed a new cast because we killed off our old cast from <laughs> from scream they killed off the cast from scream they killed off the cast from scream 2 killed off the cast from scream 3 and they killed off the cast from scream 4 so of course each movie you're gonna have to come up with new characters and at some point i feel like you need to stop that S stop and ask yourself which one of these characters in this new supporting cast do we want to keep and bring them into the thick of things for the next sequel how are we going to utilize these supporting characters for the next chapter? Don't just kill everybody off. Somebody, if they're going to have a new supporting cast and nobody's returning once again, somebody in this new supporting cast needs to stick around. Somebody has to stick around. You cannot keep doing this tired stick of having Dewey, Sydney, and Gail Weathers at the center of all the attention. And then they just have this predictable plot scenario where we know they're shielded because they, they have some like if you're a fan of gta 5 you know what i'm getting at they it's like these characters are on god mode and everybody else is just a very low rank and they just started playing the game because all the other characters they just die they end up being ghostface ghostface gets caught and they either die or get caught uh that's why i'm saying i would like to see a screen movie where ghostface actually gets away with it because i feel like that's going to be the safest route for us to finally have a franchise or an entry in this franchise where at least one supporting cast member is going to be in Scream 6 or possibly Scream 7 because of the fact that they they were one of the many one of the very few who in a in a rarity in this franchise where they did not die. Um, the Scream franchise is, again, my favorite horror series. I, I love it to death, but something has to be done in regards to them building new stars, because if you want this series to go beyond Scream 6, you have to start thinking about the future. You have to start thinking about where are we going to go beyond just focusing on Sydney because the character of Sydney Prescott, she's already established as one of the best final girls in, in the horror genre. If you want Scream to evolve and be around for a long period of time into something that is going to be speaking to the new generation and speaking to all these new 
things that go on in the horror community. You can even dwell into put, putting out as many crappy sequels as you want to. I might not entertain the idea of them or even purchase them or add them to my collection. I might just stop after Sidney Prescott's story is done. But if you have plans to build on that, start building with Screen 5. Have some characters survive with Sidney, Dewey, and Gale. Don't just kill everybody off and then go right back into the same old tired scenario where we have Dewey, Sidney, and Gale again and a new ghost face is back a new ghost face is around new supporting cast new supporting characters no at some point some of these supporting cast members that are with these three main characters of ours that we know and love they need to survive some of them need to survive because then you could use these characters to then bridge off into telling their own story without having to focus on sydney dewey and gail because you need to write sit down and write characters that audiences can get behind that they wouldn't mind seeing these characters carry the franchise because the reason why so many people don't have an issue with the story focusing on something other than Sydney is because the series has never added any other characters that is very interesting outside of Sydney doing a gale. I, we have Kirby, we have Randy, we have all of these people that we know are very interesting characters, but what are they? They're all presumed dead. Randy's confirmed dead. Kirby is assumed dead by many. So, like, you have to do something different. You have to, you can't just have people get behind these characters and then always kill them. Use them to build into the future. Make, if you want the Scream franchise to go into the next gen, you have to stop killing off all the supporting cast. You have to stop doing that. You have to build ahead of things and get ready to prepare yourself to move on from Sydney doing a gale. Let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.